I think the recession fundamentally changed the M&A market, and probably for some time to come. It drove financial buyers out of the marketplace, which drove prices and multiples down. Strategic stayed out of the marketplace out of fear, because they didn't have the resources available. They were afraid about where their futures were going to be. Now that some of that fear has begun to subside, this is an awfully good time for strategics to get back into the marketplace. The key, though, is to make sure that the fundamentals of the acquisition are sound from day one, to make sure that the underlying business purpose of the acquisition is well understood, to make sure that the acquirer knows what success looks like, they know how to get there, and they know how they're going to integrate the acquired company to ensure success. I think this is a great market for strategic buyers to be back in the M&A market. Prices are down, multiples are down, sellers are much more realistic about the selling price. I think the key to a successful acquisition really starts at the time the planning for the acquisition begins uh, with integration planning. If you don't have a successful integration, you will not have a su successful acquisition. I think the integration planning starts at the very beginning of the process. It's five years from now. We're celebrating. We've cracked the champagne. What is it we're celebrating? What does success look like? And then break that down functionally. What does success look like for the financial function, for the IT function, for the marketing function, for the sales function? What does success look like from the standpoint of the customer? If we can keep all of that in mind as we begin planning our integration, we can get to a successful integration. Integration requires a central focal point, someone who's responsible for bringing the integration forward, for managing the meetings, for driving to a decision, and for making sure that things happen quickly. I don't think you should consider an acquisition unless the team that is proposing the acquisition has brought an integration plan in along with their acquisition plan. They need a day one plan before they have the first conversations with the acquisition target. What are, the, what are you going to be your priorities going forward? Back to the subject of what does success look like, how do you get to success, and how do you involve the management team of the acquired company from day one in achieving success. If the management team of the acquired company and the management team of the acquiring company have a shared vision of success and share in the fruits of that success, then you can get to a successful acquisition.